Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on our test account and a new event is up, which I know a lot of players love, a lot of players hate, but there are also a lot of players that kind of overlook um, the event itself, which when you look at it in its entirety, guys, it is the shop refreshes, not satisfied with the goods. Well, there's plenty of things to choose from. This usually costs diamonds. So during this event, if you are a player for the next seven days that actually refreshes the shop, which you should be at least one single time, guys, to get some additional loot out of here. And I'm going to go through, I'm going to show you why. Now you can see here, we have the store, the guild store, and the challenger store. So there are three different places you can refresh. And the other thing that I cannot stress enough, guys, is with Mulan coming. We know there is a dimensional hero that is coming. Mulan will be here shortly, guys. Do not burn your resources. Do not use your resources. Make sure that you are picking up the dimensional hero in there because I don't want you to get burned and not have enough resources to actually pick up Mulan. Now within the shop, there are specific things you need to buy out of here and the consistency of buying the things in the shop is super important. So again, we're gonna kind of run through that. Number one being the elemental shards, guys. We know engraving is one of the expensive parts of AFK Arena. Getting the elemental shards in here for gold versus diamonds really is a game changer. This is one of the big reasons why you should be re refreshing the shop. Um, if you're getting 20, 40, 60 every single day out of here, guys, it makes a big difference when it comes to engraving heroes up to that plus 30 engraving. Now, in addition, a lot of back and forth with the time emblems. At this point, guys, we do have eight awakened heroes. If you ever want a shot, period, to get an awakened hero up to that ascended level, you are going to have to buy the time emblems out of here. So the way that I look at it and the way that I view it is you are actually pre-buying Stargazer cards, which Stargazer cards, of course, we can use diamonds for. Time emblems, unfortunately, at this point, we cannot use diamonds for. So this is really the way to get them out of the shop, guys, and have the ability to get these time emblems and actually build some of these heroes out of here. Now, if you played AFK Arena for a little bit, you always hit the wall at the exact same spot, and it is Hero Essence. Once you start unlocking the Resonating Crystal at level 240, even if you're early game, mid game, late game, whatever it may be, Hero Essence is always the one and biggest primary thing that you need in AFK Arena. Even when you look at gold between the King's Tower, between the Guild Bosses, between a bunch of different things, guys, you can accumulate gold pretty easy, but the Hero Essence is super, super important in there. In addition, the Poe Coins. Poe coins, there are a lot of heroes that do not perform well at all without furniture, guys. When you look at Merlin, when you look at um, Halos, when you look at Mishka, when you look at a lot of different heroes, especially the DPS heroes, um, when you have Scarlet, when you have Lucretia, when you have Ainz, when you have the Awakened heroes, poke coins are very, very important when it comes to getting them out. Now, this is really the primary ones that you want to buy. The rest of the stuff, guys, in here. There's really um, two kind of cases. Number one being if you're looking to power level. If you are specifically looking to power level, this is the choice that you want. Again, because of the wall that we see with the Hero Essence, you want to be buying this out on a regular basis if you are power leveling. Now, with that being said, it is very expensive to spend 300 diamonds, especially if you are doing the refreshes in here. Very, very expensive. In addition, guys, when it comes to the Primordial Emblems, now, we know how many emblems it takes to actually get Primordial in the Amplifying Emblems. I make sure I have at least enough to build one hero, guys. Once, let's say, I get to 300 Primordial Emblems, if I utilize those emblems, I just buy more. You can see we've actually accumulated quite a bit. So that is the point, guys. I make sure I have at least minimum one hero stacked with the Primordial Emblems. So if I do get a new hero to Mythic, I can take them to a plus 10, amplifying emblems i can take them to a plus 20 and they're already at a plus 20 signature item which for a lot of heroes is ideal for some heroes not quite enough guys to actually buy those out now like we talked about earlier with the shop refreshes this is where it comes imperative guys with the refreshes this would cost you 100 diamonds so you would go in here you would do your refreshes doing the exact same thing we are going to buy out the elemental shards we are going to buy out the hero essence we are going to buy out the pole coins. We are also going to get these if we need them. Again, the amplifying emblems. This is on an as-needed basis, making sure you have at least to build one full hero at all times. If I go ahead and I use these emblems, 
buy them up to having another full hero. Now, in addition, guys, with some of the refreshes, you will actually see the elite hero stone and you will see um, the, the elite, the other elite hero stone, the superb elite hero stone, which can give you awakened heroes. This is going to be another priority to buy out, guys. Anytime that you have one of these purple stones in here, whether it be superb, whether it be the elite, make sure you are buying them out every single time. Now, when it comes to the bait, I, I don't feel like for eight bait at the price, guys, is really worth it. The same with the elemental cores. I would choose them out of events before I would pick them out of here just because they are very, very expensive when you're looking to build heroes. Now, of course, our second refresh, doing the exact same, guys. Now we're getting 60 elemental shards every single day. We're getting 1,500 hero essence. We are getting 750 po coins because of the refresh in the shop. That is why I said a lot of players do overlook this, guys, um, but make sure that you're doing the refreshes in here because there will be a point you can even see here, guys, one, what, 1,348 million gold. Um, there's a point in all my accounts where the gold actually gets there. I know for a little while you were kind of out of gold in AFK Arena, but there will be a point where the gold, the gear enhancements slow down a little bit and you'll be stuck at not having enough hero essence or having enough engraving mats to actually continue to build out these heroes. Now, if you wanted to at this point, you can actually refresh it. But again, I do not recommending recommend doing it at this point because you have all of the engraving mats already bought out. Um, again, you could spend the diamonds in there. I would just save them to buy out some of the other things, including the cards every single day. Now, looking at the guild store, big thing in here, guys, is of course, these cards are going to be available. So you'll actually have your time emblems. Again, make sure you have the guild coins. Do not short yourself for Mulan. I cannot stress it enough, guys. Buy these cards every single time. But again, make sure you do not short yourself for Mulan. You need, I believe, 40,000 guild tokens, which we can look at in just a minute to make sure. Now, again, the other thing that you want to focus on here is with Mulan, with Ainz, with all of our dimensional hero guys, the chances to get the dimensional gear are relatively low. Again, making sure you're saving those 40,000. You can pick up the tier four stones as needed. You can see we still have what? 23 hours left in here. I'm going to save some of my resources just for Mulan on here. Not too concerned on this account specifically for the tier four stones, but the refreshes in here are also very, very good. It does not reset the cards, but you get the dimensional gear, guys. This is the only way that players can get the dimensional gear. Again, I get a lot of questions about this. This is the only way that you can get the dimensional gear, guys. You can't do the resets. You can't use the scrolls, things of that nature. You have to buy it out of this shop specifically. So if there is specific dimensional gear that you're looking for, do your refresh. If it's the boots, great. If it is, let's say, a piece of dimensional plate armor, go ahead and do your refresh again. Just because we're looking for specific armor. And there we go. So we see the flail in there again, the dimensional flail. Um, only way that you're going to pick that up. And the final refresh, of course, is the challenger store. Um, this one, again, do not use your challenger tokens um, to short yourself for Mulan. Make sure you save enough, guys. But out of here, even looking at Leonardo da Vinci down here, Merlin Leonardo, definitely a big priority, followed by Zolrath, would be the three biggest priorities that I have in here. And this one's actually pretty cool because even with the refreshes, there's not really much you're going to buy in here. Even if I pick up a copy of Zolrath and then I do the refresh to get another Zolrath, Chances are 99% of the time, you're not gonna have enough coins to buy more stuff in here. So the refresh in this one really doesn't make sense. I wish they would do the refresh in the Labyrinth store. Um, chances of getting a lot more in here. Now, like I was saying earlier with Mulan guys, we still have 30 days, so you still have a lot, lot of time, um, even longer on the global servers. But again, look in how much you need in here. Make sure you are kind of earmarking exactly what you need in here. Now, of course, the Labyrinth tokens, you can overcompensate for the Labyrinth tokens, but the rest of these, you cannot. You have to make sure, guys, so setting, what, 200,000 of our Challenger tokens. Looks like right here we have like 40,000 um, of our Guild Coins. We need about the same 40,000 of our, or our Hero Coins. Um, guild coin, we want 40,000. So what do we have? 79. So we can spend about 40 in there and still be pretty good. Again, 26 days on this, guys. I know it is a little bit longer on global, but do not, do not short yourself for these heroes, guys. It is super, super important 
to get the Dimensional Heroes. Again, PSA, public service announcement, whatever it may be, guys, do not short yourself buying stuff out of the shop. I did it on one of my accounts. I missed out on getting Joan of Arc. Now I'm saving for my Labyrinth tokens to actually be able to get her. So, all right, guys, so that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.